the Southern Heavyweight title. So, right now, let's bring a man in here that has more than just personal interest in it. The King, who was in there and faced uh, Jesse. Jerry, yeah. Hart may be tickled to death, but uh, he's not going to be tickled too long. You better laugh all you can between now and Monday night, Hart. Because I promise you, brother, you're not going to be laughing Monday night. Neither you nor that big muscle-bound geek, Jesse Ventura. Neither one of you are going to be able to smile Monday night. I can promise Jerry, you that. Jerry, before we get into it, I wish you would uh, stand here just a second and watch. And let's take a listen to see what the body had to say. Shockwaves right through the championship wrestling world when coming out of San Diego, California, Jesse the Body Ventura came to the Mid-South Coliseum in one of the major upsets and defeated Jerry the King Lawler to wear the AWA Southern Heavyweight title. Jesse Ventura. Wait a minute, little man. The first thing I want to talk to you about is upset. Upset? No, Let me tell you something. I've wrestled all through the AWA, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, St. Paul, San Francisco. I've been in the WWF, New York, Madison Square Garden. And all I heard about everywhere I went was how big and how bad one Mr. Jerry Lawler was. Was. You notice I use that term, no, was. Sir. You know, everywhere I go, and then I hear about Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Home of the rednecks. That's the word a word is in California. All they got here is redneck stump jumpers. So I fly into Memphis, Tennessee, make my first appearance here ever, ever in time. And what happens? I whip Mr. Lawler. Jerry Lawler, you found out I'm a little badder dude than Andy Kaufman, aren't I? I know you wanted to wrestle Henny Youngman, but instead you got me. Now, Mr. Jerry the King Lawler. You know what? Just thinking on it right now, you know what I want next? I done got the man's title from him. Now I want his crown. Mm, well, he looks so weird when he walks in the ring. He looks like he wears, eats margarine every day with the crown that he wears on his head. And, you know, speaking of heads, where'd you get that pretty looking locks of yours? Is that a hairpiece? No, it is I don't not. dig that tie either. Moon unit right. zapper or whatever's on there. Let me tell you people, Memphis, Tennessee, I am new, your new leader. I am the new king of the South, whether you like it or not. Memphis, Tennessee, home of Memphis State University, hot dog basketball team and all such. Let me tell you something, Memphis. UCLA whipped you. I whipped Jerry the King Lawler. It was so simple and so easy, I barely broke sweat. Well, there's no question about it that uh, you are the title holder, and of course that is the possession, and that is the thing that the folks will be looking to to see whether you're going to be able to keep it now that you've gotten it right let here. Me, let me it. ask you something, my man. Check around there and check out the lateral deltoid. Mm. You ever see anything so awesome in your life? Mm, look at the size, 21 and a half inch guns right there. Oh, look at this, all you southern women. Let me talk to you about something else, too. You know, the people, they wonder, what does Jesse the body do? Well, I'll tell you what I do. In further episodes, I'll show you some of my girlfriends. None other than the Miss Erica Kane from All My Children, Opal Gardner. I run with Ario Speedwagon. I'm the personal bodyguard of the Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, the true king of rock and roll. Well, you've heard it. What's matter with you? It's time Am to I go. Am I you? It's time to go, huh? Jesse the you Body know, Ventura, the head. new you, Southern you heavyweight got champion. champion. You, you got lousy cologne on, Okay, too. thank you. You change your style All next right. time you address with me, Jack. I gotta talk you to death. Listen, Jerry, one thing that I didn't say a moment ago when I was going over the entire card, Southern heavyweight title is at stake. But this is a no disqualification bout. So That's exactly that changes right. the complexion of it. You see, I am just a little upset. Not only the fact that losing that Southern title after I had fought through a tournament and so hard to, to win it back. Sure, I'm upset about that. But I'm even more upset because I lost at the hands of this geek here using a pile driver, which I am known nationwide for using the pile driver. Well, this week, it's no disqualification, brother. So anything goes. Now, you can talk about... You can talk about San Francisco, or you can talk about San Diego, or Chicago, or Minneapolis all you want. But let me tell you something, Jesse Ventura. You're in Memphis, Tennessee, my backyard, brother, and no disqualification. That's my kind of match. And when I get you in that ring down there Monday night, I'm going to drop you on your stinking fat head so many times that you're going to not talk about Andy Kaufman. You're going to maybe visit the same room that he was in in the hospital. I promise you that, Jesse Ventura. Whoa! Well, you hear the king. Believe he wants a little piece of that. Uh, uh, uh.
keeping it real, homie. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just keeping it real, homie. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just keeping it real, homie. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this has been us keeping it real on the Real Wrestling Podcast.